good morning we're going to do um, percent of change um, percent of change is just going to incorporate several things we've learned this last chapter changing decimals into percent changing fractions into percents and um, you could even use the percent proportion or percent equation um, so a percent of change is just the percent an amount increases or decreases so what, what that amount is, the percent that it increases or decreases by, is what you're finding. So the percent of change is taking the amount of change. So did it increase, did it decrease, and by how much. So that's that amount that it changed. And you're dividing it by the original amount. Make sure you put this part in your notes. So make sure you put what percent of change is and... Um, how to find the percent of change. So percent of change is taking the amount of change over, so this is a fraction, the amount of change over the original amount. So to, let's find the percent of change from 4 to 7.5. So in order to do that, we need to first find out the amount of change. So while I'm slowly using my mouse and doing this, you can be taking 4 and 7.5 and figuring out how much did it change? Did it increase? Did it decrease? Well, if we look, 4 changed to 7.5. It increased. How much did it increase by? Well, if I can't figure that out using mental math, I can take 7 and subtract 4 to figure out how much it increased by. Well, the, it increased by 3.5. And on the other slide, it had said you're taking that amount of change over your original. So what did it start out as? So if we look over, it went from 4 to 7.5. So it started out at 4. So we take 3.5 and we put it over 4 and we are going to get 0 0.875 3.5 divided by 4 0 0.875 percent of change so percents out of 100 I move the decimal two places to the right and I get 87 point five percent Make sure this is in your notes. The percent of change from 1,500 to 1,416. So just like on the other page, we need to first find out, is it an increase or a decrease? Well, it is a decrease. So unlike the other page, this one is a decrease. So we're nowhere, we're finding a decrease. Well, how much did it decrease by? So it's a percent of decrease. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, let's take 1,500 and subtract 1,416. This becomes 4. This 8. And this. So it, incre it decreased by 84. That's my amount of change, the change, it decreased over the original. This time my original is 1,500. Not as large of a change as the last slide or example. So when I divide 84 by 1,500, I'm going to get 0 0.056. which is just 
cents out of 100. So I multiply by 100, 0 point, nah, 5.6%.